product manager, program manager, and project manager. It all sounds very similar because they're all PMs. However, the huge differences between their roles and responsibilities within different companies. So for you, if you're new into the product management space, you might be quite confused regarding what type of roles should I choose. In this video, I'm going to share with you the differences between product, program, and project managers in different big tech companies so that it's easy for you to decide what type of career path is more suitable for you. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee the founder product manager accelerator from DrNancyV.com. I help people transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. If you want to learn the most effective way to become a product manager, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. I have a lot of students inside the PM accelerator and landing their dream job offer was in uh, fan companies and non-fan companies. And today, I'm gonna to give you specific examples what does it look like if you work for Meta as a product manager versus program manager? And what two different students land in two different roles so that you know behind the scenes stories, what the difference is, and you learn the real life stories. Difference number one is a relationship to the product organization. Product managers are the CEO of product. Program and project managers, they are the COO of product. So the first one is about what the second one is about how. The first one is about the vision. The second one is about execution. The first one is about external. The second one is about internal. For example, product managers are frequently looking at long-term roadmap or short-term roadmap. They're setting up the vision of the product. However, project or program managers are thinking about how can they work in cross-functional team to get things done, so more execution. So they are the COO of the product. And frequently, product managers will frequently work with external stakeholders to understand the needs and desire and requirements and pain points so that we can put them into requirements for our engineers to build. And we can also put them onto a short-term and long-term roadmap for the organization to work on it together. Now, on the other hand, the program and project managers that mainly focus on how exactly they need to execute and lead the team to build the product together. So they're mainly working with internal stakeholders in a very large cross-functional teams. So both roles are extremely related and both roles are very important. I made a separate video showing you the career path of product manager in the organization. You guys can go into the details to take a look how product manager can rise to the CEO of the whole company. The second difference is the roles and the responsibilities. For example, my student working for Meta and recently he landed a Meta L7 offer. What his roles and responsibilities is more towards set up the roadmap. For example, his responsibilities in Meta include the following, talking to customers to identify their pain points and problems so that they can start to write requirements and communicate with engineering teams. And identify the product vision and identify the business opportunities and define the go-to-market strategy of the entire product. He also need to learn how to create a roadmap and identify features and he also need to learn how to prioritize features and prioritize the development JIRA ticket for the engineering teams. I also have another student who joined Meta as a technical program manager. What his day-to-day -day look like is that he need to work on this golden iron triangle, which are the scope, resources, and schedule deadline. Specifically, every day he's thinking about how can he work with product team engineers and all very big cross-functional teams to understand and manage the scope of the product and how can they make sure all the team are working together so that they are not going to slip the deadline. And does he need to gain more responsibilities and more resources within the organization so that he can ensure that the golden iron triangle is very well balanced. On top of that, he also needs to spend lots of time understanding the risk within the organizations of the business risk, engineering risk, and schedule risk, and how to mitigate all the risk. And he spent lots of time talking cross-functionally to align the expectations within different stakeholders. So both product and program manager need to know how to influence without authorities. I made a different video talks in depth about product manager and product owner. You can check out more information over there. And now let's also talk more about program and project manager differences. Specifically for program manager, 
and they are working more in a bigger, larger scope. Project managers are working for one specific project or product. So program manager usually can see multiple projects in the portfolio and project managers might report the progress of individual product or project to the program manager. I'm going to make a separate video talk about those two differences in detail so that you know which one you can pick as well. Now answer me this question. Do you want to become a product manager or program manager? So comment down below. The third differences between product manager and program manager is the salary differences. If you look at public information uh, online, you can see that product manager is getting paid about 20% higher than a project manager or program manager. So therefore, it's totally up to you what directions you want to pick. And I wouldn't think this 20% is a huge difference because if you join a fan company as a program manager, you might still get paid higher compared with a startup's product manager. So based on the information I provided, I hope by now you're able to identify which career paths you should choose and maybe your interest in both. If you have decided you want to become a product manager, I want to go to this website to download this link where you can use this a product manager, killer product manager template that being used by 4,000 product managers so that you can use the same methodology to land your dream product manager job offer as well. If you like any of the free content I share with you today, please make sure to hit the like button and share the video with any aspiring product managers. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. I'm going to see you next time. Bye.